institute sits in a gap that exists between what is typically the output from academic research and uh, basically the level of uh, research and technology which industry wants to acquire. That gap is often known as Death Valley. It sits basically in between what is called a technology readiness level that is at level three and four, and what industry is interested in, which is a technology uh, readiness level six. They operate in five key areas, which are materials, uh, aerospace materials, uh, manufacturing for aerospace, which is really quite important. In very key sectors such as aerospace, it requires a very high level of capability and knowledge, which we are able to support uh, here. We also work in uh, aero engines, uh, for example, so propulsion systems for, for aircraft. We also operate uh, electrical and power systems, so all the electronics, all the electrical systems which you find on board an aircraft, for example. And the fifth uh, area which is what we call operations, so all the surrounding activities which are made of, for example, scheduling, optimization, navigation, human factors, the interaction between, for example, a crew uh, and the aircraft, or an air traffic controller uh, at work and their workload, all of those are areas in which we are able to operate. We do projects uh, with everything to do with 3D printing and additive manufacturing. It's really interesting for the aerospace sector because it allows us to build phenomenally complicated components from industry relevant materials. We're doing a range of projects ranging from actuation to aircraft generation to green taxiing, the, the rig which we have behind us here, trying to make technologies happen to make aircraft more electric. The fundamental aim is to reduce cost, make it more efficient and reduce emission for aircraft. This rig was, was set up to conduct a PhD study by a Rolls-Royce employee in fact on some fundamental aspects of what happens inside aero engines and particularly when you switch loads on and off. We've done many things with this rig, it's, it's been a tremendous success this rig. Some, some of those things have been very very exciting and already have played into uh, the company's success. If we look at the context uh, uh, of aerospace both in Europe and in the UK, there is a very strong uh, emphasis at the moment for, to support research in aerospace Therefore, if you want to be able to tap into these funding sources, if you want to be able to deliver the sort of research and technology which industry requires, you need to have the vehicle to operate at that level. And that's what we are.